This is the time of the year again where we have to collect a Christmas tree and I can do it in my backyard. <laughs> so I'm really lucky I don't need to pay anything. I have a, no a lot of property so I can just go out and have a look. This time I wanted to try something else with a Christmas tree. If I manage to dig it out I can put it in the pot at home. I don't need to cut it with an axe and everything is getting dried out after a really short time. It's just a guess. I'm not sure if it's possible. So we have to see and try. <laughs> For being so long away from home makes me that I don't want to leave my home at all, at least for the first one or one half week. Anyway, it's now the polar night season, it's getting darker days, maybe a little bit depressing or not, but it's really interesting to see how the mood is and changing, but it don't feel so bad this year. And it's soon Christmas, it's a really nice time, enjoying the holidays. So right here in front you have a really small Christmas tree and this looks actually pretty good. Several more here. So it's only 20-30 meters away. And those can grow until the next years. I think that would be a really nice tree. We have some bigger ones more behind there. So just check it out. Here you have a trail for a moose. It's going along the path here. Maybe I will follow it a little bit up so I can show you one time. So here we have one. Looks pretty good from one side. And this is actually a good fit, which I can put towards the wall. So it's not covering everything. As you see here, there's a lot of wood. Plenty of possibilities. So it will be really interesting if it's possible to dig it out or not. Bringing you home to me From across the sea And it seems like you're already here Whenever I hear Christmas Bells chime in my ear So here we have it. This is the Christmas tree for this year. It don't have so much, so many roots. So if I put it in a bucket and soil, it should do the job and survive the whole Christmas. <laughs> it will be some carrying issues, but I think I will manage. A bit funny, I did not co consider that, that the soil what I have outside, it's normally logic, logic, that's frozen. I will try it with some snow and see if the Christmas tree will balance in it. it in the end it only needs water anyway and I add some soil later if I get it unfrozen in a couple of days. Just have a look if it's standing in the bucket. Not the best result, but I will use some stones to get it in place, and I think it should work out somehow. <laughs> the Christmas tree is now in place. It was a bit difficult to get the right adjustments. I picked up some stones from outside and put it in the bottom to have a nook stability that it's not falling over. Now let's get to the work and decorate the tree. Not sure if this is working out, as it might be too long, but we just give it a try. On Christmas, love songs that we heard, all to seem absurd on Let's Christmas. get to the good part. Here, here, big bag. When you hold me tight in the shimmering lights of Christmas. Even though I'm not so into the Christmas tree things to decorate, I still do it. And it's finished! Maybe more of the most decent and boring Christmas tree you've ever seen maybe. But less is more. 
uh, it's not necessary to buy always a lot of stuff can also be kind of a nice like this with some mix not too many colors when a fire lights up a starry night on christmas promises we Slow under the mistletoe. On